What's going on, guys? I appreciate all of you that were hanging out waiting. Wasn't sure if I was going to do a live stream today. And then I got this package from Aroma Concepts that I wasn't sure exactly when it was coming in. Came in today. I said, screw it. Let me do a live unboxing and first impressions. Now, uh, this was sent to me by the good folks over at Aroma Concepts. I do collaborate with them from time to time, pretty much monthly. And uh, I did request a few. Uh, for example, Trillium, the Elysium clone. I love I love how the box the bottle has seen you know looked in pictures and in videos. So I wanted to check this one out for myself, as well as I wanted to get another killer oud fragrance. So I got Sunrise, which is a Sunshine Man clone, which I have tried before. And then the that's the only two I requested. The other three I said surprise me. Emir Super Crush, which I know that's an instant crush clone. Barcode signature. Never even seen this one before. I have no idea what it's supposed to be. I haven't looked at any notes or anything. And Shiaka Blue. So we're getting another one in the Shiaka line. I'm assuming it's some sort of blue fragrance based on the color and the name. Uh, but Shiaka, which was a Reflection Man clone, is phenomenal. That's a fantastic fragrance. I really enjoyed wearing that one the other day. So let's get into it and start it the way we normally do. Scent of the day for me, Arrow's Flame. Going to this one. I've been testing it the last several days as well as Eternity Cologne. Uh, this is going to be one of the next two individual reviews that I do. Really, really vibing with this one. Nice, uh, spicy, creamy, little green. Uh, very citric at the top. Still has a little bit of that vanillic sweetness from the other versions of Eros. Really, really digging this one. So let's see who's wearing what here in the chat. Now we've got 60 people quick, fast, and hurry. Make sure to hit those thumbs up for me, guys. We only got 18, 19, as I say it. Likes, hit those thumbs up for me. All right, let's see. What's up, Ross? Uh, no, I, I answered that in the chat already. Michael Kors Extreme Speed and Bulgari Man Wooden Rolly. Still right here. It's going in the rotation. Kevin, good to see you. Joel, what's going on? Go and like the video. I appreciate that. Dan, not the man. Luna Rosa Carbon, good to see you. Excellent choice. Shiaka, speaking of. There you go, Leo. That's good stuff right there. Volcanus, the king of the super chat. My man, what's going on? Wulong Cha. My man, you are smelling great. You are smelling great. That doesn't leave my rotation table. Because even if I don't wear it all the time, I still pull the cap and smell it pretty often. Thank you for the super chat, by the way. Scott, good to see you. Fragrance talks and your passion for fragrance. Mike, I appreciate that, man. I, I genuinely love talking about this stuff. Kentucky, Kentucky Derby Day. What's going on, Kyle? Good to see you. Smooth Operator, good to see you as well. Louis Vuitton Meteor, never tried it. Blue's supposed to be a scandal clone twist. Really? S which scandal, though? Roger Parfum scandal, Jean-Paul Gaultier scandal. Which one? Hmm. I'm not sure. The goat. I, I come on now. I appreciate that. Latafa Mahir Legacy. I haven't tried it. Adeline, good to see you. Haven't seen you in a little while. Good to see you. Mabusin in red. Never tried that. Vetiver Sensual. I still need to spend some time. That's so good. I still haven't been testing it yet because I've been working on a few designer. Um, designer reviews and i want to work on some niche reviews as well like this upcoming week i think i'm gonna do some more niche stuff because i'm doing a lot of cheapy stuff this week <clears throat> aqua Joe profumo that's the real goat as well as this mancera wave musk billy that's a great fragrance one of the few in the proud right there my man you know checked out dossier perfume and i'm shocked they have the inspired fragrances which i would probably enjoy wish i could build up a bundle pack hmm? i mean you can always just randomly try whatever you don't like you can return for full refund. That's one of the caveats with them. Hawass, absolutely, I agree. Coach for Men, super underrated at this stage. I still love that fragrance. Chrome Legend, excellent choice. Interesting, Rockin' Eros Flame, me as well. Had my girl pick my scent today, and she went with Eros. Love them both. Oh, you, you went regular Eros. Okay, I got you. Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with either, right? Pass on for him. Wow is all I can say. Loving it. Noted. I've had a few people tell me I need to check that one out. Dan, what's going on? Diesel, only the brave tattoo. I've got that one. I haven't worn it in a while. Beautiful fruity tobacco smell. It's actually pretty damn good. On Trillium and ultimately wondering if Trillium or Imperium is the better clone. Well, I haven't tried Imperium and we're about to. Trillium is going to be the first one I open here in just a second. French Riviera. Don't tell me anything. I haven't opened mine yet. We're going to be doing that Monday. I'm going to do my Mancera slash Montal summer fragrance haul on Monday. That video is going to come out Monday. Stop over in the creeks. Ooh, I bet you did get a compliment. That's good stuff, man. That is super good. Uh, that's going to be fe featured in a niche video uh, later in the week. I have I have plans for a video that's going to showcase that one, actually. 
Charity Amez, the original. Dominique, hanging out. Glad you could make it. What's this? Of edition Blanche. Okay. Why La Parfum? Got it in the mail today. That's my favorite. That's my favorite why. I hear Legacy on the way. Good to see you. The one and only. Come on now. Let me stop that. I'm nobody special. I appreciate you, though. How's your day? Can't complain. Center of the day, L1212 White. And Hugo Now. Ah, I haven't sprayed that one in a while. That's super underrated. Nobody talks about Hugo Now. It's a beautiful, slightly minty, very watery fragrance. Bohemian Lime. No, not yet. That's going to be Monday's video. So Sunday night, tomorrow night, I'll film it. So tomorrow night, I'm technically trying all four of those new Manceras and those two Montals. It's going to be six fragrances in the video. A lot of haul videos right now. I'm trying to spread them out. I'm trying. I know that's what we're doing here. I figured to switch it up a little bit and do a live stream with it. Let's see. Killer Oud Overdose. Never tried that one. H24 EDT is great. Satur Ta. Haven't tried that one. I'll put Mancera Vetiver Sensual and Lemon Line on Sunday and Monday. Those are both bangers, Joel. Excellent, excellent pickups. Scent of the day, Platinum Ego East, timeless, all-time great scent. B612 from Nishane. Adolfo, you smell great, sir. Oud Forest this morning, wearing Zara Sweet Warm Addictive after the shower. You smell great as well. Okay, afternoon. Scent of the day, Izazi, not the silver one, the gold one. Okay. What's up? Soul Cafe for the day and Musk Therapy after my shower. You smell good today, too. It's hot out, so I'm scrambling to pick up some citrusy freshies. Yeah, I don't blame you. Summer vibes with light blue intense. Quite the layering combo. Love your outfits, Ross. Stay, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dino, what's going on, my man? Imperium, House of Fragrance World. Almost went with CH Men Privé, but decided I'm going to rock Wood Barrel Bourbon 10-4. What are you buying today? Nothing. This is a haul. All the fragrances are right here. It's a haul video, not a shopping video. Shiaka is going to extend my reflection, man. Oh, for sure. It's very, very accurate. I was very impressed. Like I said in the review video, the biggest difference I find is I get more of the yellow floral in Shiaka than I do in Reflection, man. Hit the like button. I appreciate that. Yeah, definitely. 38 likes with 86 viewers. Yeah, we can do better than that. Give a thumbs up. And some stupid movie I'm watching has got me sucked into it, but I had to co come show some support. I appreciate that. Try any other ones, maybe Black Phantom. Has anyone tried? Uh, I haven't tried that. I'm trying to hurry and get to the bottom here. 10 4. Anyone coming? Let's see. I'm going back and forth on Danger. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Danger is so good. So good. It's not for everyone, though. It's definitely not for everyone. A lot of Coomerin in that one. I was hoping you got in Paris Corner and North. Oh no, I haven't gotten that one yet. Jonathan, what's going on, my man? Went outdoor graduation, rocking Invictus Platinum, beautiful scent with a with a slight breeze. Got a few asks of what you got on. Insert head nod here. Yeah, goal achieved. That's what I'm talking about, man. Glad you could join. For the summer evening, something playful and attractive, but professional at the same time. That's a hold that question because I want to go ahead and dive into this. We'll we'll do some questions at the end. Let's go ahead and jump into this, guys. First and foremost. I want to see what's up with Trillium, the Elysium Parfum Cologne. Cologne. So we're going to open this one first. So I'm telling you, in, in, on, I've seen Need talk about it. I've seen it in thumbnails. I've seen pictures. Just love the way the bottle looks. And I mean, I doubt there's anything such as a bad Elysium clone because the scent profile is just amazing. Let's get the slide out. Here we go. Yeah, that's good looking right there. Is this one of the original Navitus bottles, or is this an Amir bottle? Hmm, looks pretty much like one of the one of Stevens' first fragrance bottles. The shape, <laughs> color, because they weren't copying Raja Dove, right? So let's see. Well, atomizers lined up. Cap's cool. You can tell it's definitely cheaper than a Raja Parfums cap and the jewels they use and stuff, but it still looks cool. Still looks cool. And we're going on skin. I'm about to have all five of these on skin plus my scent of the day. So I guess we'll just do the hand first. Nice light mist. Guess it doesn't matter because there's no Raja Dove signature which side it goes on. Oh, yeah, that's clear as day Elysium Parfum Cologne. I mean, like, 
spot on in, in my mind here. The only reason I'm not going to grab it to compare is because I'm spraying five fragrances on. Very metallic and sharp citrus. Not sweet citrus like the um, like the Parfum Pour Homme, but very specific, like a bergamot black currant kind of combo, but faint on the black currant. It's a little tart. It's just a smidge of tart, but very bright, sharp, and metallic. How much is that? We'll check the price in just a bit. I'm sure it's in that $40 price range before the 10% off because we're, we're going to reference the website. I'm going to do a screen share here in just a minute. I just want to sniff on it before we look at the notes, before we look. It's pretty damn accurate. Now, it's not overwhelming me in power. I have to say, it's not like punching me in the nose here. But it definitely smells like some synthetic ambergris type of Vembroxen-ish, but more musky. So I bet this actually pulls, pushes, but at the same time, it'll wear your nose out quick. I bet you it wears your nose out quick. I would think. Let's see. I want to make sure. My poor man's best friend. There you go. Been wearing Mercedes Benz Sport as a gym since it's bought during live. I haven't wore it yet. I've been waiting for some warm weather because that's a really, really fresh fragrance. Okay. Do I recommend it? So far, Yes. I still think Sammy's version is better for power, but this is better for accuracy. I think this is more of an accurate depiction of the scent profile, whereas Sammy Andrus Blue Sapphire, it's much more potent, but it's also not a carbon copy. It's Sammy's take on the scent profile. This is much, much fresher. This is a great hot summer's day. This is super fresh, so there's not a lot of body to it which is what the Parfum Cologne's about, the actual, what it's replicating, the original Elysium Parfum Cologne. I do think that's slightly stronger in the opening, but the scent profile seems pretty damn accurate to me. Supernova with Artisan Pure. Wanted to buy Trillium, but waiting for Imperium instead. I'd be curious to check Imperium too, just to see. I'm, I'm going to probably scoop that one up in the next month or so, because I want to see which one's better. Because this is pretty damn accurate. Very sharp and metallic. I'm, I'm digging this quite a bit. I know dang well, we y'all you know, got our engagement looking right. No, just looking a second. We got over 60%. Jared, I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. I know you've been busy, my man. I don't know yet because I have, like I was just saying, I haven't tried Imperium. I would like to compare the two because this is pretty damn good. That's why I want to start with this one. This is the one I specifically requested first. Like, hey, I want to try that one. This one's probably going to warrant a full review video on its own Com and comparing it to Elysium Parfum Cologne as well, because it's just going to be a first press, first impressions. What's going on, my man? Good to see you. 100 plus in the chat. Hit the like button. Guys, come on. Now, let's destroy that like button. I appreciate you guys. So let's let's do the screen share, shall we? Let me I have Aroma Concepts pulled up. Trillium. So it is $48 before the 10% off. Fragrance notes, grapefruit, lemon, bergamot, lime, thyme, artemisia, galbanum. Yeah, this is this is carbon copy here, guys. Mid of vetiver, juniper, berries, black currant, apple, pink pepper, cedar, cypriol oil, lily of the valley, jasmine, and rose, base of ambergris, leather, vanilla, benzoin, and That is that is this is carbon copy. They definitely went the route of let's let's make a carbon copy of Elysium. The quality is not the same, but Elysium was already metallic, which gives the impression of synthetic to some people, even though it's their, their high quality oils, that metallic tone can be mistaken for a synthetic smell. So I think that makes that works in Trillium's favor. I think personally. I like this a lot. I like this a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. If I didn't have I mean, like I like Elysium Parfum Cologne. If I didn't have Arrow's Flame on, I'd probably spray it all over. This is an easy one to go nose blind to, though. That's the thing. This is 100% going to be easy to go nose blind to. A lot of synthetics here. Damn, this smells good. Mm. If you have Elysium Parfum Cologne and you want to extend your bottle, use this as a refresher because let's say you don't get the best performance. Let's say you're one of those people that complains about three or four hours with your Elysium. Get this and use, let this be the bottle you keep with you to refresh because 
this will probably be good to refresh off of the dry down of the real deal. I think this is a good bottle extender, I think, which is never a term I've used before, but makes sense, doesn't it? If you have a leasing part from Cologne, you don't want to just keep reapplying it. Maybe you want to start with that. And as it starts to fade, you can reapply the cheaper one that will clearly be mistaken for the real deal. Out in the air, this will definitely be mistaken for the real deal. Uh, I love it very much. I'm waiting specifically for high heat summer to wear that one because it's so tropical with that saltwater coconut smell, very zesty lemon essence. It's, I think it's wonderful. I like it quite a bit. Appreciate that you go on skin when checking these out because look, I, sometimes I'll start on test strip and I end up on skin any damn way. So I like this quite a bit. Let's move my phone to the side first and foremost. So Trillium I think is a good bottle extender, kind of a new category we'll make, I guess. Um, hmm, which one do I want to try next? I guess I'll go with Shiaka Blue from Kablaj. Like I said, I was a big fan of the original Shiaka. It's a homage Reflection Man clone. So I have high hopes for this flanker, and I'm assuming it's a blue fragrance. So some stuff from the box. Here we go. Love that color blue as well. So back-to-back -back blue fragrances basically is what we're doing. We're starting with blue fragrances. Brioni Intense. I've been wanting to try the Brioni fragrances. I haven't tried them. Imperium is more spicy, so i probably like that too. I probably would. Yes, that one's in my cart. Well, there you go. Make sure you use the discount code that's uh, in the description. Save yourself 10%. It's not an affiliate link or anything. I don't get a kickback. I did get the fragrances sent to me like I stated at the beginning. But let's go to almost lined up perfectly. Off center a little bit. Let's go to this hand. Spray it right away. Give it a good spray and a half. It's very fruity. Very fruity out in the air. Jean-Paul Gaultier scandal. Okay. Definitely has the sweetness of scandal. Oh, yeah, clearly. But there's a little bit of a fruitiness, too. Like, it's it's that with a twist. Oh, this smells really good. Uh, this is back-to-back -back really good scents. Um, this smells really good. This one's going to get a full review as well. Shit. Okay, so two for two with the Shiaka fragrances. I'm going to need to try the entire line. It's that caramel. Thick caramel, but some fruitiness, too. Definitely has that thick caramel sweetness. So Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal, that does make sense. Let's uh, let's go check out Shiaka Blue and see what the notes are. I'm dying to know what the notes are here. This smells fantastic. Shiaka Blue. And it is $39.99 before 10% off. Introducing Shiaka Blue Perfume, a long-lasting, invigorating, and luxurious perfume with fresh citrus notes, aromatic spicy with the heart of musk and orris. And a base of rich and succulent amber encased in a classic blue and platinum flat cone. Shaka Blue complements personality and style and a finishing touch to outfit your ensemble. Where is the notes? Why is there no notes? Okay, so when in doubt, Barfumo. Let's see. Let's see what they're talking about here. So powdery, sweet, and creamy. Yeah, that makes sense. I get a little fruitiness, though. Amber, aromatic notes, citrus notes, so there's my fruitiness. Floral notes, green notes, iris, musk, rose, spicy notes, and vanilla. So they hide a lot of the formula here. But it's good. It's really, really good, I have to say. What's going on, my man? Glad you could make it. Second pair of arms for these unboxings. Yeah, no shit, huh? <laughs> on my website in canada they're all sold out damn sorry to hear that man let me, let me see they have add to cart for the u.s i think they have the option to add to cart in the u.s fragment and frag ladies i like that rs i like that that's pretty good well i mean hey i don't encourage you blind buying but i don't know how easy it would be to sample stuff like this when it comes to these cheapies it's Kind of blind buy or nothing, but shit, this is good. Appreciate you. Got to bounce, but great content is always number one frag reviewer in the game. Goat status. I appreciate you, Smooth Operator. Thank you, man. Thank you for coming and spend a few minutes with us. 
See, blind bought Shiaka blue. No regrets. What do you think about it? What, what do you get from it? Because I get, I get this caramel thick sweet tone. It's bright and fresh, and it's a little soft and powdery, and I get a bit of fruitiness, especially in the opening. Very fruity tone. Boswellio, what's going on, my man? Glad you could join us. Good to see you. What's good, big dog? Because you're a, oh, what's going on, my man? That's my guy on IG. We, we chat on IG, for those of you that don't know. That's a big boy right there. And when I say big boy, I say big mule. You know what I mean? I don't mean fat. That's a mule. Big hoss. You know what I mean? That's a Southern thing for you guys. This is fantastic. It is getting a little bit more powder. I'm not losing this fruitiness, though. Shiaka Blue is better than Trillium. Trillium, but I would wear them for different scenarios. Like, I wouldn't want to wear this one on a high heat day, but I would crave this one on a high heat day. We started off hot here, guys. Two really good ones to start. Yeah, we're doing well so far. So next we're going with the Sunshine Man clone. Killer Ood line. Uh, a lot of you know how much of a fan I am of uh, Killer Ood Death by Ood. The Shepard Ood Malaki clone. Big, big fan of that one. I really dug that one this past winter. Love the color scheme, by the way. Stunning. Oh, there we go. Love these bottles, too. Ah, it's in there. <laughs> it's definitely in there good. Oh, got it backwards? No, that's right. I love the caps on these. I just love the caps. And they have the little tassels hanging and everything, which is more of a Zerzhoff thing. Hefty bottle. It's actually baby blue, baby blue toned glass with, I'm assuming that's a yellow colored juice because it's making for a green hue this is actually very pretty it's very very pretty stuff right here guys not that it's the most important thing but it sure looks summery in the name and all that good stuff now i have smelled sunshine man before but it's been a long time i don't remember the scent profile that well but two good sprays big wide mist i smell incense and spices though that that amouage touch you know that middle eastern tone little fruity but more spices and smoke but fresh bright and fresh oh very spicy Ooh, like a radiant spice this is gonna sound weird like a cajun spice like a red hot spice Whew, boy if you like spices this might be one for you guys Let's see. All right. Trillium is apparently is good. Yeah, very good so far. Really digging it. Let's see. Scroll down. Live the other day. Can't wait to get it. I hope you enjoy it. Just tried Loam Ideal Platine. No, uh, and I've heard from multiple people, including Randy said it yesterday in live stream. It's just Loam Ideal Cologne. I'm a pass. If I end, happen to get a decant, like a 2ML decant, it's probably at best what I'll do just to make sure just to do the video to tell you guys, hey, yes, indeed, it is pretty accurate to the the discontinued uh, cologne flanker. I might do that, but holy shit is this spicy. Climatics <laughs> in the house. Ross, that lady in black of your IG video has me stuck for a few. Um, Today's video? IG video. Yesterday, I'm not sure which one because I post my fair share of random sets. And like today, I was hit. That was my when I started to warm up hitting the bag. That was what I recorded. Like I hit the bag for on and off for another 20 minutes. That was I was still kind of stiff trying to loosen up. You'll see the video starts with me kind of stretching my torso. I had just finished stretching my arms and my shoulders a bit to loosen everything up before I started throwing. But uh, if you're talking about that one, I don't remember. That's the only video I posted today. Smells like cabana. It's very spicy, but very aromatic at the same time without being soapy. Gorgeous bottle, yeah, for sure. Remember, you can become a member of the channel and get your star next to your name, plus membership perks. This is very, very true. Thank you for that, Kyle. I was on Bodacia, the Victoria's site. I couldn't believe their price is almost 7,000 pounds for 100 ml. Yeah, they're expensive. EQ is a big, big fan of that house, but they're they're definitely marketing to a very specific crowd. That's fragrances that are definitely not for everyone because of the price point. You know, uh, I've never tried any of their scents. I would love to try Blue Sapphire. 
because it's one of EQ's favorites. Got that one in the cart now. I love Cabana. 131 watching. Really, I didn't even notice. 132. Sweet. I appreciate you guys. Welcome. We're going to hang out for about an hour. We got two more fragrances to smell after we check out what's going on with Sunrise here. It's very specific. Like It almost smells like I'm, I'm getting everything together and throwing it in the water to get the water boiling for a crawfish boil. I know that sounds weird, but that's that red hot spice crab boil, Tony Sashery's hot sauce kind of smell that I'm getting from it. Those of you from the South, and if you were to smell this fragrance, be like, holy shit, now I can't not smell that moving forward. Some of you that you have no idea what I'm talking about, but that's the coon ass in me. I'm, I'm from South Louisiana, you know. How was your Cinco de Mayo? It was pretty good. It was pretty good. I can't complain. Thank you for asking, Buzz Whaley. I appreciate that. How was yours? How was yours? I was doing a lot of content. I actually did a live stream. You were here. Did, did a live stream yesterday. I have one with an, an average Joe tomorrow that I still need to set up. Cabana super green. I'm getting super spicy. Like super spicy. I'm surprised at how spicy. I don't remember Sunshine Man being this spicy. Looks like the tassel that goes on cabinets. That's fair. I mean, it's not some expensive tassel, you know. Workout from yesterday doing the cable curls. Are you talking about uh, from... Oh, yeah, where it clipped. It was three different exercises. Okay, that one from yesterday. I know what you're talking about. I don't remember which chick you're talking about, but I remember the video. Let's see. Here, Ross. Weird question. Do you emphasize your traps during... Show? I do. I see you always name them specifically. Yeah, I end my day with it with two different shrug, two to three shrug variations. Um, it's a combination of four different shrug variations, and I do three of them every shoulder day. I either do a Smith Machine in front and behind the back with the Hammer Strength Shrug Machine, or I'll do dumbbells. So it's one of those four variations. Whenever I go to the Smith Machine, I do both of those variations. So if I do, let's say I don't do the Smith Machine barbell shrugs and I do hammer strength and dumbbells, I do a lot of sets. I'll just do those two variations. I'll do like six sets of, six to eight sets of dumbbells. I'll kind of pyramid through the rack. I'll start at 50 and go to 100, and then I'll pyramid back down to 50 and do, you know, eight, 10 sets, something like that. Depends on the jump. Sometimes I jump 10 pounds. Sometimes I jump 15 pounds. Sometimes I might jump 20 pounds, like 60s to 80s. 80s to 95s or so you know what i mean so uh and then with sh the hammer strength shrugs i usually do four to five sets every time i do that so that's yeah I, and specifically like when i'm doing side laterals you work your traps you squeeze your traps at the top uh upright rows works your traps when you on the motion to where you start to pull up and then i do a good stretch uh so my my traps get a great and then when you do low row you work your traps on back day which is a few days prior. So my traps technically get two days of work, two days of kind of targeted work every eight days. So thanks for asking. Lots of fragrances going up in price. Is there a good time of year to watch for sales? Uh, just randomly throughout the year. Uh, fragrances are going up in price because everything in the world is going up in price. Yeah, it's across the board. It's not coming back down. Once any category starts charging more, they don't charge less down the road. It's... Get used to it, guys. It's the new norm. The world's fucked. The world's fucked up. <laughs> Lack of a better term. Sorry, I'm going to have Cinco de Mayo in Europe. Okay, 10-4. Mint fragrance. Torino. I haven't tried Torino 21, and Sedley's not heavily mint, but it's noticeable mint. Uh, but I never tried the Torino one. Forearms are, are like a real goat. Come on now. All right, so let me, let me jump over. Let's... uh. Let's check Sunrise's notes. We're chopping it up a bit. I'm getting a little off topic here. Not that it's a bad thing. I just want to, you know, focus on the main thing, and then we'll finish up chopping it. Look how pretty that picture is. So in the thumbnail, that's the bottle I got. I grabbed that and cut it out, and it was a perfect angle for how I do my thumbnails. So top is lavender, brandy, immortel, and orange. The immortel makes sense. Juniper berries, clary sage, bergamot, tonka, vanilla, cedar. Why is it so spicy then? It is super spicy on my skin. The orange and the lavender make sense, but I get this very like red hot pepper spice. And cedar. The cedar makes sense too. 
yeah, this this is this is legit. If you like spicy, it might just be my skin too. It very well could be my skin, but this is super spicy, but fresh enough to where you could wear this in the heat. Next time, I'm taking this with me to Louisiana in August. Reason I say that is crawfish isn't in season, but crabs will be in season. And I already talked to my cousin; he's gonna boil some crabs for me, like he did last year when I went down. If it was in season, I would I would boil the crawfish. Not that he's not that he can't. I mean, that's what he does. But I just like the way I boil them. But uh, I'll let him boil me some crabs, some blue crabs, for those of you wondering. Um, so I'm gonna wear this at, at the seafood boil because this smells like a seafood boil to me. I know that's weird, and some of you may not understand it at all because you may have never smelled that before. But, and I'm not talking about how they do it in other states. I'm talking about South Louisiana. You know, it is getting a little bit sweeter. There's a light sweetness creeping in that's kind of taking some of the pepperiness off of this spice. I like this quite a bit. This is very different from what I was anticipating it to smell like. Very, very. I was expecting much more of a freshie. Who said I'm not using any gear? I'm on test. I've talked about this a bunch of times in live streams. I get tired of answering that. <laughs> I'm on DRT. I get tired of answering that. And I do bodybuilding style workouts. I don't do this push-pull, hippy-dippy crap that everybody does now. I do traditional bro, bro split because I'm, I'm, I do bodybuilding. And I'm on test. You know, so eight to 10 sets for traps. Why so much volume? Cool. <laughs> yeah, that's I, I don't like any criticisms when it comes to the way I train, because I've always trained a certain way on and off over the years. And uh, it's what works for my body. So that's why I train the way I train. I don't trust me. I don't give out any advice to anybody that doesn't ask me for it about training. So. I don't welcome advice about training. That's the one thing that I'm not interested in hearing from other people. I'm not saying you are. It's just funny to me because um, not everybody hears every time I've ever mentioned that I'm on TRT. You know, it's just I hate how I don't like being a broken record over and over about something that has no relevance to the fragrance channel. You know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. Let's see. Yes. Araj Enclosure opens Minty. I love it, though not a big fan of Minty. How you feel about folks using orange juice in the bowl? So I use oranges and lemons. I don't use juice, but I cut oranges and lemons. Honey, I use honey as well. Very flavorful. It makes them very, very flavorful. Of course, onions and garlic and all that good stuff. Um, I got a very specific, you know, eye measuring recipe that I do. Robust bursting with flavor for sure. So this Surprise me. Not what I was expecting. Let's move on to Super Crush, which is the Instant Crush clone from Mancera. Very familiar with that one. I don't wear it that often, though. Um, it's basically a more floral amber and amberwood heavy, like jasmine and amberwood heavy version of Baccarat Rouge. Now, I have high hopes for this because this particular line uh, is the line that Sidrat Essence is in. Their, um, their Sidrat Boise clone, and it's fantastic. So I have Super high hopes for this one. Again, this is Mancera Instant Crush. This is Paris Corner's take on it. <clears throat> uh, just Eau de Cyan, very realistic, bitter, saltwater, seaweed kind of fragrance. That, uh, I actually feature it in the haul video. I got to spend some, I'm probably going to do a review on that one this summer. So it's going to be a little while before I spend some time with that one. Works out for you to do primarily body weight now versus when I played football. It was heavy lifter every time I work out. Every, yeah, for sure. For sure. Every Everybody's different. There's no such thing. Cookie cutter workouts don't work for anyone because it's not tailored to the person. Right? I mean, Eric knows exactly what I'm talking about. He trains young men for football. For those of you who don't know, Eric played for Carolina Panthers for many years. He trains the youth and gets those boys in shape. This This man was, this man was a banger out there in the league. You know what I mean? For those of you that aren't familiar with Eric. <clears throat> I'm from Houston, so I definitely know about the seafood boils. On my skin, my sin of the day, man, that's different, LOL, <laughs> for sure. Uh, no, I have not tried it. He summer always helps for the ones that buy 10-4. So, all let right, right, let's, let's go on the other forearm with this. Hey, lined up. That's what I'm talking always like. It's an, it doesn't matter if the atomizer's lined up. It's just a nice little touch when it is. You know, it's the little things. 
Well, that's clear as day, instant crush, and it's strong. Wow. Let me wave off some of this uh some of this alcohol. Oh, yeah, there it is. Very floral, but has that crushed jewels sweetness, that burnt sugar smell of Baccarat Rouge 540. It is definitely here. This is a thick aroma. This is going to be a beast just like Instant Crush. This is definitely going to have Instant Crush's strength. Ruined my shape, and it was hard to get back in shape, so I quit, but I plan to get back to it soon. As long as you do something, Boswellio, it's always good just, just for circulation and, and for your cardiovascular system, if nothing else. Mobility and keep your cardiovascular system. Uh, my wife doesn't do all kinds of lifting. She she lifts here and there, but she does like circuit training where she'll do a total body workout, do a few sets of kind of a bunch of motions, but she mostly likes to hike and do cardiovascular stuff. That's her thing. You know what I mean? She's not really the lifting type. She just does it here and there just for mobility and function. So everybody's got different needs. Everybody's body reacts differently to different things. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. I roll for a fragrance means fire for sure. Yeah. If those of you who've been watching me for a while, you know, if, if, if my eyes jitter a little bit or roll a little bit, it's, it's euphoric what I'm smelling. And this is very much a wow factor, very feminine, just like instant crush confident men only it's unisex, but it leans feminine because it's definitely heavily burnt sugar, sweet, white floral dominant. So this is not for everyone for sure. Not for everyone, but it is one that's super good. Super, super good. Yeah. Activity is the important thing. Exactly. It's not everybody's trying to gain a bunch of muscle or get lean, get shredded strength goals, hitting personal records. Not everybody's looking for that. The most important thing is to not stiffen up and keep those joints moving, keep your tendons in shape and keep your cardiovascular system as healthy as you can. You don't want that plaque build up to where you start having heart disease and stroke and risk of heart attack. And although that's what really what's important is just overall health and well-being. Um, as far as targeting specific goals, that's something different. Not everybody does that, but health is wealth, right? Center of the day, cool water wave. Excellent. Legend spirit for the PM. Excellent. Excellent stuff, man. Getting bull report on extreme in the mail soon. Rumors of discontinuation and recent hype led to the decision. I can understand that completely. My primary goal was always getting in shape, losing the fat, and keeping in shape. Absolutely. I, I totally know where you're coming from there, Boswellio. I've been up and down throughout my life. I'll be serious for a while, then get fat and lazy for a while, then be serious for a while, and be fat and lazy for a while. But, uh, I've been quite consistent for about two and a half years now. It's a process. It takes time. I'm not where I want to be, but I'm definitely on the right track. Man, a lot of amberwood here. So let's go back to the screen share. A lot of amberwood and jasmine. Let's take a look at Super Crush. Nothing. Oh, excellent put a space for some reason that's weird okay super crush it is 45 dollars before any discounts it's on sale currently fragrance no saffron ginger sicilian mandarin sicilian bergamot amberwood plenty of it moroccan rose egyptian jasmine plenty of it indonesian patchouli leaf decent madagascar vanilla and sandalwood for sure white musk and oak moss not a lot of oak moss here a little bit of earthy tone, but it's probably more the patchouli because it's very creamy and earthy. Um, nice, thick sweetness, bright white floral tone. You get a lot of white florals here. I say that plural, but it's the jasmine specifically. And this saffron, the way it comes across with the amber wood, it's the burnt sugar smell that Baccarat Rouge is famously known for. This is, this is very, very accurate to Instant Crush. These Amir fragrances are carbon copies. So, because I've got two Amir fragrances and they, they went the carbon copy route. These are carbon copies. Whereas this, I don't think this is a carbon copy to Scandal, but it still smells amazing. And that's all that really matters. And then Sunrise, I don't recall Sunshine Man from Amois smelling exactly like this. I feel like it's a twist, but it's a very good twist. It's very spicy. Seafood boil. 
I know that's weird, but that's what it reminds me of. This is a banger, though. This is a banger. This is the strongest fragrance in this video, for sure. Definitely the strongest fragrance here. And it's on sale. Pretty good price. So 45 bucks, you get another $4.50 off with the 10% off, if you're interested anyways. Again, nobody's going to buy anything you don't want to buy, but it's there if you're interested. My girlfriend actually thinks Instant Crush smells masculine, and she loves it on me, and it's freaking nuclear in performance. Yes, it is worth the money it's a monster i'm sure this isn't quite as strong as instant crush but it smells like it's gonna be really freaking strong brand new scent by the way not profumo rebottled that's good to know get on that review asap well i've been buying a lot of stuff and i don't want to spend like 160 170 dollars on a freaking aqua de joe flanker right now Just remember how earlier it was mentioned about prices going up on everything designers are niche fragrance prices now it's ridiculous these designers are not worth 160 and 170 for 4.2 ounce or like 130 for a 75 ml. They're not, they're designers. They're made of a bunch of synthetics. They're not made with naturals. They're not worth that. And they don't cost that much to make on that level. Definitely not on that level. Not Armani, <laughs> you know, 136 watchers. Remember, smack that like button. I appreciate you, Jared. What camera do you use for the channel? Started a podcast. Always like the way your video quality looks. So my shorts videos, I use my S22 Ultra. And then this is a Sony Handycam uh, FX A53, I believe. A something 53. Um, 4K, 30 frames per second. It doesn't do 60 FPS for 4K, but it's currently, I mean, it's only 720p. It's downgrading the image for StreamYard because I'm not paying for the 1080p package. 25 a month's enough for StreamYard. I don't need to give them 40 for a slightly upgraded picture that still gets degraded because it's going over bandwidth. So it's not because I did a seven day trial of the 1080p and it's slightly better, but not enough to warrant the extra 15 bucks a month to me. <sighs> I don't know. I probably right in that range because it's the first time I spray it. It was this hand, yeah, because that was that was way more sweet. That's a uh, that's Shiaka Blue. It's definitely not going to be the strongest fragrance. I think it's going to be weaker than actual Elysium Parfum Cologne, but it still smells bright, fresh, and airy. It's still there, still doing its thing. God, it smells good. A lot of grapefruit, musky, metallic. Doesn't have the same magic as the original, but we're talking about a big difference in price. Big difference. But as far as freshies, I mean, this is it's a great freshie for the price. This is a great freshie for the price. And the bottle looks cool, too. Bottle looks really, really cool. Nope. I get asked every single day. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet. Imperium lasts about five, six hours. Not sure about Trillium. That's probably at best what you can expect out of this one, too. I found him soon. Monkey special is blind by worthy. Stay cool, big dog. Could you? I'm assuming that means you're out. I appreciate you for stopping by. Man with sense, another one of my favorite profile names. You you have a cool name. <laughs> so we've got one left. Barcode signature. I've never seen this before. Wow, that was serious. I've never heard of this before. I don't know if it's. I'm assuming it's a clone of something, but I damn sure don't know. Here's the box. This was a surprise in the package. I don't know what the hell. One day you are a signature. Next day you are an autograph. Interesting saying. Okay. Let's get it out and see what we're working with. Has the same setup as the box is how the stickers are done. Cap some cheap crap. But that's okay if as long as the scent's good. Really good atomizer. This is super familiar. I know what this is. Super fresh. Citrus, fresh green. I know what this is. What is this? trying to figure out what this is maybe not it's settling into something a little different this is a fresh green fresh green and citrus fragrance this reminds me of 
freshies from Aqua de Parma, freshies from MFK. It's got to be something in that vein. Aqua Celestia line, Universalis, um, an Aqua de Parma flanker of some kind, a Colonia flanker specifically. Juicy. Juicy citrus, fresh greens. Oh, let's get to the super chat real quick. MM, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. Does your wife like Middle Eastern fragrances as well? Could you please recommend a fragrance my husband and I can wear while we're out together? Thank you. So the only one she enjoys is all three of the Sphinx releases. That's some niche Middle Eastern originals. Uh, strawberry Kiss smells like a strawberry muffin. She's been wearing that one a lot lately. She wore it yesterday. Um, as well as Damascena and Heavenly Lilies are beautiful, beautiful, sweet florals. Um, as far as something the two of you can wear together, it depends on his taste. Does he like florals? Because I would recommend something like this if he's up for florals, if he wears floral fragrances. The Instant Crush DNA is like the ultimate couple's fragrance as long as your husband likes sweet florals. Like I said earlier, this is the kind of scent profile that's chest out, confident man, confident men only. You know, you got to wear this fragrance or it'll wear you. What do I mean by that? Confidence is key because it's flowery. It's jasmine heavy, burnt sugar, Baccarat Rouge burnt sugar smell, sweet. Uh, but this, this is one that a couple can really get down on. This or the original, Mansara Instant Crush. It's funny that you asked that because I think that fits a couple very well. It's, it's very elegant at the same time while still having a youthfulness, a playful vibe to it. Uh, to where it can dress up or just go on a casual date night out where you're not really dressed up. You're just going out and having a drink and maybe a little dinner. You know, I think something like that would really work. And I'm sure there's several recommendations in here uh, also. Oh, what's going on, Grant? If you want to buy Sphinx fragrance, even though I haven't had any before, definitely Black Anubis. Yeah, Joel's got my back on that one. Boswellio as well. That's the best one to start with, Grant. Black Anubis. Because the grapefruit's believable. It's a pencil shaving dry uh, woody spiced leather. Uh, the oud's dry and, and like pencil shaving esque. But MM, I hope that helps. Uh, if I could elaborate further, if you tell me he's not in the florals, I'll change my answer. I'll definitely change my answer. And out of curiosity, um, let me see. What else can I recommend that would be great for both? In a high heat situation, light blue for women, either version of the original or the O Intense. Uh, because I thoroughly enjoy light blue for women and light blue for women intense. Uh, I think that's perfectly unisex, bright and fresh for a high heat day for a couple to wear. The women's is much more unisex than the men's. But thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that. Strawberry notes seems to be popular lately. Yeah, for sure. Up for shave. Dave, what's going on, man? Which would John? I've never tried anything from them. But let's check out barcode. This is uber, uber fresh, like surprising. I, I didn't know what to expect. I've never heard of it. I've never seen it before. This must be some kind of new release. Let's see, barcode. Cheap too, 30 bucks. Bergamot, Mandarin, Neroli, green tea, black currant, musk, and sandalwood. That's the green facet is this green tea. It's fresh though. It's very, very fresh. It's not super herbal. A refreshing and invigorating perfume for a delightful break to your senses, a barcoded scent for men with specialized ingredients to unveil seductive masculinity. A sharp modern flair takes an opening of citruses before indulging in tea, black currant, musk. An extraordinary, elegant perfume formula, especially for the modern day men. Barcode signature, Occidental EDP, is designed by Aroma Concepts and is exclusively sold. So this is an, an Aroma Concepts exclusive with Paris Corner, because it is a Paris Corner fragrance. So this is an exclusive. It doesn't smell as cheap as the other fragrances, and it's the cheapest freaking one in the video. It's such a familiar scent profile. Like I told you guys, I put it up there with the kind of scent profiles I would expect as a Colonia flanker from Aqua de Parma and some of the fresher stuff from Maison Francis Kirk John. This does not smell like a $30 fragrance at all. This is actually the best smelling fragrance in this video. Go figure. It's the exclusive for the website. I mean, that worked out, I guess. But yeah, this is this is great. Damn, it's an original for the site. Good for them. Shit, I'm wearing this tomorrow. This is my favorite fragrance in the video. 
This is great. So I would have potentially guessed that might have been some pedigree, some lemongrass, something like that, that fresh citrusy green smell without any spice. That's kind of what my brain was thinking. That's where my thought process was. So green tea, not completely surprised here, but it doesn't have that herbal feel that a tea note can bring. It's not super like rich and earthy herbal, you, you know, that herbaceous feel, kind of a darker feel to it. That's not here. This is super fresh. The neroli doesn't make it real soapy. The black currant's starting to settle in more. It's adding this tart, fruity tone without making it sweet. This is really good. This is the best fragrance in the video. And speaking of, it's only right that before we're getting to the one-hour mark that we have to go ahead and rank these. I'll go ahead and answer this real quick before I do so. <clears throat> so TLTG is the acronym for my fantasy sports team name. It's to hear the full story, check out my Review the Reviewer episode on the Zaharoff channel on YouTube from almost four years ago. Uh, I break down the start of the nickname and how it evolved to where it got to TLTG. So in the matchups for football, baseball, basketball, all of them, it says TLTG versus and the acronym for whatever team I'm facing. It stands for the Legendary Team Gates. There's a whole story behind the, where, the, where that comes from, what it means, how it evolved to get to that point. But it has nothing to do with fragrance. It's about fantasy sports and a nickname I had with my friends from many, many years ago that evolved over time. So if you want to hear the full story, like I said, check out uh, Ross Carlos Review the Reviewer. If you type that in, it's going to be the first thing that comes up. TLTG Review the Reviewer, anything like that. Uh, just make sure it says Review the Reviewer. It was a series George was doing years ago um, on the Zaharoff YouTube channel. And I, I go into detail on the, the full length of the beginning of it to now. But thank you for asking. Inspired by Silver Mountain Water. I could see that a little bit because of the tea and the black currant, but it doesn't have that metallic and inky feel. It's similar for sure. It's definitely similar, but I wouldn't call it a direct clone of it. It's really good. It's really good. What's going on, Spencer? Glad to see you. Fierce and tense. All right. All right. So let's give them some rating. We started with Trillium from Amir, the Elysium Parfum Cologne clone. It has faded. It's a little on the weaker side, but it's so bright and fresh. I'm going to be wearing, I'm going to do a full review on this one for sure. This one, the full review. Hell, honestly, all five of these were good. Over the next month, I might have to do reviews on all of these because I, I liked all of them. There's not going to be a bad rating among these. But because it's a little lackluster in performance, I can tell it's not going to give me but a few hours. I'm thinking probably four hour, five hour range. But it's pretty accurate in the opening I'm thinking this is in the very good range, but it's not quite great. If it had some more punch to it, it would crack the eights. But I think seven out of ten is a good spot for this one because it does smell freaking incredible. That's the most important thing to me anyways. It smells incredible. Bottle looks cool. And it's very affordable. Yeah, seven out of ten for Trillium. Now, Shiaka Blue. We're elevating the ratings. That is so sweet. A little spiced at this point, it's a little touch and woodsy. It's sweet, but not too sweet. Like, I still think you could wear this on a nice, cooler summer day, but summer evening, even. I think this can go year round. Right setting in the summer, the right setting, not whenever the hell sitting outside in high humidity, 100 degree heat in the summer. No, I don't think this is a good choice. But situationally in the summer, and then whenever the rest of the year, I think it works. I think this one gets a half a point bump for sure, and I know this is going to perform a bit better. Shiaka's first impressions rating, Shiaka Blue, is a 7.5 out of 10. This is good stuff. I'm going to end up doing a review on this one as well. Oh, this smells so good. You know what? 8 out of 10. It's great. We're bumping it up another half a point. It's great. This one's great. This is the one to beat right now. So, Sunrise in the Killer Ood range. So this reminded me of a seafood boil. I need gifts of TLTG reviews. So there is emojis if you sign up for the channel. It's funny that you say that. I have nine different emojis that are for the channel members. 
uh, even at the basic point at the 499 one, uh, they they're definitely there for you. So here you go. He's uh he's popping a few of them out. <laughs> yeah, Spencer Spencer's on it for me. Thank you, Spencer. Yeah, there's a few of them. That's no, that's all. Is that all of them? That's seven of them. Did I have seven or did I have nine? I could have swore I had more. Thank you for the the um, the examples. I appreciate that, Spencer. It's still fresh. The spiciness is toned down, but it still smells like a crawfish boil or a crab boil to me. And for that, that gives it an immediate 8 out of 10. I think it's great because it's a nostalgia smell for me. I was not expecting this to smell like this. Um, now, the wearability, I don't know. i got to be in the mood for really spicy, right? The DJ's hitting them too. Love this one. I appreciate that, Jared. Thank you, man. See, over here on StreamYard, it just says the names of them. It doesn't show the actual emojis. But on YouTube, it shows the emojis. That's pretty damn cool. That's funny. Everybody's starting to use the emojis. That's hilarious. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you, guys. But, yeah, 8 out of 10 because the nostalgia factor really plays a role with me here. Now, the Instant Crush clone. Whew, man, this is a banger. This was all good ones. This was all good ones. It was a banger, but I can't give it more than an eight out of 10 because it's not my favorite. I know what's my favorite and it's got to get the highest rating. First impressions. This is an eight out of 10 as well. This is great. I think this is very accurate to instant crush. It definitely has the strength. It's the strongest fragrance of these five. <sighs> Burnt sugar, bright, thick, white floral jasmine with a little bit of muskiness, some creamy sweetness. Yeah, this one's an 8 out of 10 as well. Now, barcode is my favorite. It definitely does. The more it dries, it relates to Silver Mountain Water more and more. I feel like it's Silver Mountain Water with a twist. And I love the Silver Mountain Water DNA. I feel like it takes away a lot of the metallic tone. And it's not as inky. Like the black currant doesn't make it as inky. It adds a little bit of a tart fruitiness. Um, beautiful citrus in the opening. This is beautiful. This is an eight out of eight point five out of ten. That's why I couldn't give anything else higher than an eight because I knew I wanted to give this one an eight point five because this is something I'm going to wear right away. This is so two days in a row I've I've smelled something that smells kind of like Creed Silver Mountain Water. Admittedly, after the live stream yesterday, Supremacy in Heaven got better and better and better as it dried. This is better than Supremacy in Heaven far and wide, and this is cheap. And it doesn't smell cheap. The oils smell a bit higher quality than the Afnan fragrance did. This is really good. It's being dominated by this fresh green tea and black currant and, and musky tone without being super inky and metallic. Very similar. The more it dries, the closer it gets to Silver Mountain Water. I would dare I say it's definitely inspired by Creed Silver Mountain Water. The opening was not so much. It was familiar. Maybe that's why it was so familiar. But as it settled and started to dry a little bit, it's becoming more and more Creed Silver Mountain Water, but a higher quality take on it for sure. Um, it's definitely got some good quality to it. Yeah, 8.5 out of 10. If you're interested in any of these, there's a link at the top of the chat or in the description with a discount code. Um, honestly, I, I think if you're looking for something that takes inspiration from Creed Silver Mountain Water, but kind of does its own thing, I think you should check out Barcode. I'm pretty impressed by it. I don't know. It's good stuff. When I use it, I get many compliments. Yeah, it's good stuff. There's no such thing as a bad chrome flanker. 8.1. There you go. I mean, I could have did 8.1. I don't really do the – I do the half points usually. On occasion, I'll do a quarter point. At Frag Bar, they say Shiaka Blue is inspired by Scandal. Yeah, that makes sense. It smells like Scandal with a little bit more of a fruity tone to it. Uh, no, I haven't tried that. It's an Enclave clone. I'd be interested in checking that out. Chris, good to see you. Glad you were able to make it. We'll be shutting it down here in just a little bit. Uh, I appreciate all of you being here. Let's see. House of Colossus has it too. Uh, let's see. Gerard, Leo, telling everybody hello. Uh, any other questions you have, guys have for me before we shut it down? Just curious. I'll let you guys, you know, I appreciate you all being here, but we'll, uh, you know, go on about the rest of our days. I'm not watching Chris's video because I want to be blind. I saw Chris is posting it everywhere <laughs> and tempting me. Uh, so <clears throat> I was like the first post 
on YouTube. I did a shorts video when the news dropped um, a while back. So I'm pretty sure you didn't see that, Mike. That's why you're asking me. Um, I'm going to get that. It's got a chance. I literally talked about it yesterday. It was either yesterday or the stream before where it's got a chance at being a top three designer release of the year. I don't think it's going to be bad. Not even close. I think it's going to be really, really freaking good. Uh, I've seen the notes. I've talked about it a little bit. I can't wait to try it. It's a cool looking bottle too. Um, I'm going to get that this year. Yeah. Still want to get Bulgari Rain Essence. That's on my radar for right now. But there's a few other things I want to get before that. But um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, not, not at all. I know the night before what I plan on wearing. And if I feel the same way when I wake up in the morning, I just roll with it. Like I've been planning on wearing this for like two or three days. Because I'll do random sprays and that'll convince me to wear, do a full wearing. So good. So good. Working on a review for this one now. Um, I usually try to set up ahead of time. Like I have this, this TV tray I call my rotation table that I've got like 40 fragrances on and I pick from what's on there. And every two weeks or so, I'll take a few off and put a few different ones on there. Um, that's why you guys will hear me say, oh, this is going on the rotation table. Because even though I might not wear it within the next few days, within the next week or two or three, depends on what happens in that time frame. I'll end up wearing it because it's going to stay right there in front of my, because that's the main place I go to, to pick what I'm going to wear every day. <clears throat> haven't tried any Raja Dove yet. What's the first one to try? <sighs> Elysium's an easy answer, but you want to try something that'll wow you a bit more. Something like Sweetie Oud or Amber Oud to really show you what some of the show outs in the, in the collection are like. Amber Oud and, and Sweetie Oud would be great ones to just give a try. So you're not just trying safe stuff. Um, obviously stuff like uh, creation E would be great to try because it's easy to say the dangers and the scandals and Elysium and Isola blue. It's easy to say the fresher stuff and the Fougeres and stuff like that. It's easy to say those try something a little bit more daring, reckless fetish, you know, those are some of Justin's favorites. I've tried those, but I would say Amber Oud and Sweetie Oud. Some stunners worth trying. Those will make you fall in love with the house. Take care. Going to sign up for because the Elite account soon is available in my region. Uh, yeah, it, I'm not sure because I had somebody else from a different country. He didn't say where. I tried to sign up and it wouldn't show up for him. As far as the giveaways, the monthly giveaways, the designer and the niche ones, that's U.S. only. In case, because I know people sign up without reading everything, it says in all caps US only. I want to make sure those of you watching the signed up know that the giveaways are US only. Um, so, and I'm not sure which country you're in, Adeline. I don't remember. Shame on me. You've been watching me for years, and I don't remember which country you're in because I know we're in different time zones. Um, but I appreciate you being here. If it's I hope it's available to you uh, so you can utilize it. Like I said, there's four tiers. Um, if not all good, happy to see you. It's been a little while since I've seen you in the chat. Glad you were able to make some time for us today on Saturday. I watched it and I have to get it. Don't tell me anything, Leo. I don't want to know. I don't want to know because I trust Chris's opinion. He's one of the handful or so of opinions. There's maybe a few more than a handful of opinions that I trust, but I take Chris. Chris is a good friend of mine. I take what he thinks seriously. Um, so I don't want to know what he said because I'll be completely influenced and I'll go into it with everything he said in my mind. So I don't, that's why I don't want to watch anybody's review. Just like he's already talked about infrared, Spice Bomb Infrared EDP. I don't want to know shit. I'm just going to buy it. <laughs> so I haven't tried that one yet. I haven't seen anything about it either. In some ways, yes. I think Dior Homme Intense is a little bit more elegant and upscale. Than tuxedo, I think tuxedo dresses down a lot better than Dior Homme Intense does. But then again, I, I wear Dior Homme Intense with a hoodie when I feel like it. So situationally appropriate, maybe not the best choice with a hoodie, but um, they work well dressed up. But I think moustache dresses up, dresses down better. Have a good one. I need an emotional. I need an emotional specifically for when a troll gets out of an emoji. You mean? I think I'll use the flex on them. There you go. <laughs> How many months before we see an Elixir clone? Probably. That's probably right. As soon as Dua grabs it. There you go. Favorite clone pickup of the year so far? Ooh, that's a great question. Hmm. 
like specific clone, I would say one that I keep gravitating to. Um, Infini Absolute from Kablaj has really impressed me. It's Woody Aventus. It's very rich and Woody Aventus. It's not moving from the rotation table. I'm looking at it. It's right there. Probably going to wear it again this week. That's one. I'm going to give you more than one. That's one. Hmm. Look down here. Gotten so many. Lafette Intoxicate is really, really good. That's one I've gotten. That's a great angel share clone. A lot of cinnamon. A lot of cinnamon. Um, and we'll go with one more. Look around. I've got fragrances all over the place. <laughs> so you gotta give me a second. And I would say iconic. Club in We Iconic's really good. It's a good take on Blue de Chanel. I think that's a good one too. We'll go with those three. Thanks, Brew. Appreciate you. I know I don't even ask anymore. There you go. Bracken, what's going on? I found out you can't see the join button if you're watching on an iPhone. Did not know that. Did not know that. Because I know you asked me earlier. I'm like, like it's just right where subscribe would be. <laughs> you know? <clears throat> what's going on, Sally? Good to see you. Frag community, have a good evening, Ross. Great live as usual. Frag community, definitely appreciate you. Eric, I appreciate you. Thank you, my man. I hope you have an awesome weekend. Definitely need a decant. My keystrokes are locked. Yes, recommend <clears throat> recommend a fragrance to start in the 50s going up. Can you retype that for me, my man? I do follow boxing. I haven't been watching much lately, though, Boz. Um, I haven't paid for a few fights recently. Like the one I wanted to watch was Tank Davis. And uh, I just watched the highlights. Boy, he put he put Ryan on his knee. That body shot is fierce. I love Tank Davis. I've met and spent time with the Charlo twins back when I was at Mercedes. They used to shop all the time. Was they come in smelling like weed with a uh, two million dollars worth of jewelry on cl chains clanging all over the place? And boys are flashy. Um, I follow the sport, but I haven't been watching a lot of fights in the last like two to three months. But boxing is my combat sport of choice. That is my favorite for sure. No, I haven't. I definitely haven't. I'm not familiar with them. I hope you enjoy them, Sally. I hope you enjoy them. I, uh, obviously, I hope Evening Mystique's your favorite. <laughs> you know, but no hard feelings if it's your least favorite. It is what it is because there's something for everybody in this collection of three. That's for sure. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> I appreciate you, Spencer. Spice Bomb Gang, Rocky always hits me with that. As soon as I mention it, it's probably when I mentioned Infrared, EDP, that he said that, because I'm a little behind. Iconic's definitely more bright in nature. I like it. Montrese, what's going on, my man? Sin of the day is Smoke by Kush brand. There you go. <laughs> I like the wordiness of Iconic. My barber had a bottle. Hood Scents on IG? When you say Hood Scent? Or you meant Good Scent? Because when I see Hoodsense, I think Hoodsense on IG. That's my guy. Anybody not following Hoodsense on IG, you're missing out on some funny stuff. Uh, I would go with Club Denoui Iconic over Masoni Parfum Pour Homme, but slightly. Tank Smoke Ryan. Yeah, I saw all the highlights. I didn't see the full fight, but I saw the highlights. I was watching it. <clears throat> I was watching the highlights like immediate, immediately following. Ted Lapis Poker Face, good lot of week clone. That's what I hear mean weather wise because i work tomorrow not sure what to wear oh well it depends on what the the best way i can i can do this is you may have heard me do this in other live streams give me an a few that you're debating between and i'll tell you what i would do because i could recommend make a make a ah, tongue twister i could make a recommendation but you might not own the recommendation whereas let me give me a few options that you're debating on and i'll just tell you what i would do in that situation and uh and we'll end on that if you want to hit me with that real quick Wave is good for sure. I don't know, Leo, but it's in the mail. Looking forward to finding out on average. Joe loves it. A variety, people send them to me. That happens a lot in uh, Decant House, fatboyfragrance.com, a variety of places. Uh, there's a bunch of different places to get them from. Uh, no, it doesn't. I've only smelled clones of it. I haven't smelled Lola Bo's version. I have Dua's version or had Dua's version. And uh, it just smells like juicy bergamot. I don't really get any Aventus from it. Joe has impeccable taste. I agree. 
first dossier. Are they really a good clone house? Do they form a, it depends on the scent, but yeah, for, they do a pretty good job. Their originals really surprised me. Um, their version of Polo Blue, I think, is the best Polo Blue clone money can buy of the Eau de Toilette. It actually performs better than the Eau de Toilette, too. Um, their version of the original Mon Armani Code's great. I'm trying to think what another good one. Their Joe Malone's are pretty good. Their YSL women's fragrances, Black Opium, which I talked about recently, and their clone of YSL Libra. I mean, that's my wife's favorite fragrance. I compared it side by side, and it's pretty damn accurate. Qualities there, performances there. They really do do a good job. It's easy to constantly collaborate with them because they do put a pretty good product out. The only thing is, and I, I still ride their ass about it, is when I get bubbles in the label. There's no excuse for poor quality control, in my opinion. <clears throat> it, it, I call them out for it every time. I've said it to my rep and everything that I deal with. Like, y'all need to do better. I'm going to continue to critique you guys. And that's another reason I like to work with them. They can take the criticism. Because most of the time, they've done a pretty good job. But the main thing you'll hear me bust balls about and give them a hard time is when there's bubbles in those labels, because I'm sorry. Quality control should be at the forefront. That's a quality control issue. But the fragrances, they do a pretty good job. Not everything's a win, though. I would say like 80% of their stuff's really good. And they got a lot of stuff at this point. Their candles are really nice, too. My wife burns the, the Aventus candle. Uh, she's almost done with it. I mean, she, she likes to take baths. I think that was a great move for us. Great move because Cam's getting older and he needs more help on the inside because if we have somebody nasty on the interior, it's going to take some of those double teams off of Cam Jordan. So I think that was a great move for us. Great move. Cosmic Pepper, I, I saw I Fragrance posted earlier. You know, I can't wait to hear my review. Yeah, you know I want that one. You know I want that one for sure. Sparring partners injured Ryan with a body shot. Supposedly, let Tanks Camp know. Oh, well, that's a real possibility. <clears throat> it is pretty good. It is pretty good. I would say go after Mercedes Benz Man Blue, though. I like that better for an alternative to Savage. I would say get that. It's a little bit more. You're going to spend a little bit more. Aqua Cynthia Blue, excellent. I have not. Glad to have you, Jonathan. Nothing to apologize for. Artisan Teal, well, we don't have any response. Hour and 12 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and shut it down here. For those of you that haven't seen uh, the underhyped cheapy video, which this was in that we showed earlier, definitely check that out from today. Live stream tomorrow with an unaverage Joe. We've got a bunch of decants, a bunch of niche stuff that he sent me. Um, probably going to bust it open to see what's in here so I can put it in the thumbnail. So I know it's Diptyque, and there's a bunch of other stuff. He, I, he hasn't told me what, but uh, we're going to do that at... Five o'clock central. Yeah. Five o'clock central tomorrow. I'm going to set that up. Make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you can set a reminder when it goes up and uh, yeah, that, that'll be it. And then weekly rotation in the morning, uh, the members voted and the first video for next week is the men's. It's going to be Monday is the men's Sarah slash Montal summer fragrance hall video. So be on the lookout for that as well. Appreciate you guys being here. Thank you for the super chats. Thank you all of you that are current channel members and anybody that decides to join in the future. I appreciate you. And until next time, guys, y'all have a good one. We are out of here. <laughs>